Hi beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to try a new brand for me. A new brand that I've never tried before anything from and I'm very excited. I'm going to try a couple of products and that brand is Shiseido. Or Shiseido? Shiseido? I don't know. But it's this beautiful brand. Now I do have a couple of products that I got. I have the Invisible Silk, Silk Loose Powder in matte. I have the self refreshing uh, syn synchro skin self refreshing cushion foundation i have the mascara that's imperial lash mascara mascara imperial imperial i think it's called and i do have the correcting jealousy concealer So, I already moisturized my skin and fixed everything. I'm going to prime. So, for the primer, I'm going to use my Veal Hourglass Primer. And I know that this one works with my foundations. I do have other primers that I really like. I also like this Hydro um, Milk. And I also like the Cover FX Gripping Primer. Very good primers. Also, Elf Porous Puffy Primer. But this one is what I'll be using for a long long time and I just want to see if it's going to work with this foundation and so this uh, there is one problem with this product is when I bought the I know they came out with cushion foundation but also a foundation the same foundation but in the bottle and I didn't get that one I wanted the cushion because I feel like the cushion foundation is very easy and very fast to apply if the sponge is good that it comes with it, I don't need to wet the sponge. And it goes, for me, it's a little bit faster than the usual foundation. But uh, it came like a refill. Not a compact itself, but just a refill that you put in a compact. Now, the problem is I went to the website again, Coco Panda, where I can purchase this to Sweden. Uh, and... They only had refills. Now I hope this will work. I do love my uh, Lava Art Cushion Foundation. And I don't know if I can pull it in this one. But I mean if it's like this. Closed. It's going to survive. If not I I don't know. I'll need to search for it. The packaging itself. It just didn't came with it. I actually thought that it was with the whole compact, but it wasn't. And it's not possible to buy on that website. Now, we'll see. I, if I like it, I will definitely maybe purchase the bottle itself, but this costs a lot. I like the packaging, outside packaging. Now I haven't opened this refill product yet. This is in shade, oh, what's shade? It's 220 linen, linen, 220. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. It says, as she said, the first is cushion compact that refills non-stop. Active force technology synchronizes with the skin to help uh, recede heat, oil, humi humidity, and motion for a fresh natural finish that lasts 16 hours. That's good. Shine free, weightless compact, medium buildable coverage for uh, protect skin from harmful factors such as dryness and pollution includes case of puff to application now i wanted something that i could use on a regular basis you know during the weekends when i don't need full coverage i love full coverage foundation but but this time i wanted something that will even my skin tone that will look nice i'm going to also use my tart primer to fill in my pores i like to do that too I have to say the packaging is amazing. It's so easy, but sleek and elegant and beautiful. And I know it, it's expensive. It feels expensive and it looks very nice. I'm kind of curious. I'm sad that I didn't got the whole package. I really thought I bought the whole package, but no, we don't have it. But I think it's still, I think it's going to work like this too. Oh my God, look how beautiful. Now I don't have that flashy packaging, nice. I try to uh, match myself, but I've seen there is not uh, as many shades, shade range in this cushion foundation as it is in the regular bottle foundation. Feels like this one will like melt into the skin and kind of work with your skin tone. I don't know, it sounds all amazing. So let's try it on. Oh my god, the whole packaging looks so stunning. Let's all peel this together. 
Ooh. How much do you get in here? 13 grams. That's a lot of foundation. Um, I'm not going to waste. So, I do not care. i actually going to use the puff that comes with this cushion foundation because I do like those kind of puffs. And a lot of foundation comes out. I also had the Beauty Blender ready. Ooh, this is a nice shade ma match, though. This dries down very fast, though. And it smells... Uh, it doesn't have a scent. Not perfumey. Ooh, I like this. I really like this. And you don't need to press hard, <laughs> which I did because a lot of the foundation comes out. So, I don't know. I've never tried anything from Shiseido. Never anything. But I know this brand is very popular. <laughs> Some people really like it. And I like cushion foundations because they are really fast to apply. I like when I don't have a lot of time just to use my uh, Lava Art foundation when I'm like in a hurry or something. I think this shade is good. Maybe I, I feel like maybe it's, I, I would like it a shade darker, but, but I think this is like my skin tone. And when I bronze, I do everything and that's, it's not too pale. It kind of works. I feel like it works. Sorry guys, you were out of focus. So, so sorry. I didn't see that. My camera is messing with me. So it looks a little bit pale when I look at myself in a monitor. But when I look at myself in the mirror, it looks nice. The, brush, the, bright, the, the lights are bright. I feel like the shade is good. And it's medium coverage. And I feel like it really it's fast. I like how it looks on my skin. I'm liking the foundation. Now we are going to conceal. And guys... This is outside packaging. It's so damn cute. Now they have a liquid and a stick concealer. I, use, I bought the stick one just because it looked nice and it looked so cute. It says hydrating all day co uh, coverage weightless. And I got it in shade light 201 light clear. And this is the cutest packaging ever. And if you can see it, it's metallic but look how cute and it says the detail here it says shiseido shiseido i know if i pronounce this wrong but let's go in i'm going to use it under my eyes i don't know i feel like this is very not cute it's full coverage so you can blend it with my fingers i do have a sponge here but i feel like this is blending Blending very nice with my fingers. I like this. It's not full, full coverage. Let's see how it's blending with the sponge. It's blending nice with the sponge too. I mean, I feel like it's you get more coverage when I use the fingers, so I'm going to use the fingers. Sometimes I do use fingers, especially with the uh, Jeffree Star concealer. I like using my fingers for that concealer too, especially when I want this uh, natural, natural makeup look. But I'm not going to go overboard because I want this to be more natural look. I love the packaging. I feel it's so damn cute. So damn cute. Love the concealer so far. And let's go and set it with the powder before we go to do the rest of the makeup. Now I got this Invisible Silk Loose Powder in matte. They had matte and luminous, I think. I like matte. I have oily T-zone. I get oily very fast. So a matte powder is beautiful for me. Air light and ultra fine powder. Synchro synchronous size to skin for seamless perfection. Press puff to micro mesh for this Pencing. Place in a cap after use. 
the packaging is so damn cute. I mean, it's a, like a u usual powder. It's no difference of any other powder, but this looks so elegant and beautiful and expensive. The packaging is interesting, but the, because there is a mesh here and you open it like this. So we're going to keep it. I really like that. And we are going to try to use this puff. Why not? It's very soft. It doesn't really remind me of any puff I've used before. So we are going to use it today. I'm going to use it to set my under eyes and the rest of the face. Let's blend it, start creasing a little bit because I have fine lines under my eyes. Oh my God, this is so fine milled. I can't even see it. You can see it on here that it's a little bit like yellow. It's translucent, but, or I think it's translucent. I think it's translucent. I don't remember having more shades of this powder. And it picks up some powder, but I can't see it on the skin. This looks like my skin, but matte, you know. I like it. I really like it. I love the powder too. So far, so good. I'm very happy how it looks. Though it looks a little bit light on the monitor, but I promise it doesn't look that light in real life. So I'm going to do rest of my makeup and then we'll be back to try the mascara. So guys, I'm back. I just filmed this makeup look very fast, very easy. And we are back to try the mascara. Now, huh, before we do, I want to set everything. So I'm going to set with setting spray LA Girl. Now I'll be having this foundation for uh, 40 minutes. And I start filming this review for this makeup look, the palette I'm going to have on my channel. So if you're interested to see what palette it is, and how I created this makeup look, look, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That video will come up, I think, next week. Yes. So it took me 40 minutes because my battery died and had to change the battery and my children were calling me. So it 40 minutes just went fast. So let's set this. This foundation feels very light on the skin, I have to say. I don't feel like it's heavy. It looks natural. I really like how it feels. I love the powder. Powder is invisible. I haven't seen this before. This kind of powder that's invisible. I hope it will keep everything in place. But so far, this is the best powder I've tried for a long time. And I love the Huda Beauty. I love the Jeffree Star. I love um, Nikia Joyce powder. There are so many powders I really like. But this one, it's invisible on the skin. I don't know if it is because I applied it with the puff uh, and I didn't get that too much of the powder on the skin. There is some fallout from this makeup look. Yeah, I have some sparkles or glitters, but that's because of the eyeshadows. So everything is looking nice. The, I'm going to use the lipstick. Let's see. I'm going to use LA Girl lipstick. And this is from uh, a new brand I just reviewed. Or oh, this video is got, coming up also on Friday where I reviewed this lipstick. So, And I'm applying this lipstick. You're going to see it tomorrow on Friday on, in, on my channel. Very affordable, almost three dollars. This lipstick is only like three dollars or something, not even three dollars. So, I like it, I like it a lot. So, let's to go to the mascara now. Ma I'm dropping everything everywhere today. The mascara, the packaging is the most ba beautiful packaging I've ever seen on a mascara, and I've seen a lot. Uh, Two Face Better Than Sex mascara, I've seen this uh, Benefit, I think it's Benefit. Yes, I've seen the uh, this mascara also from Too Faced. I mean, they're beautiful, but this is so sm like uh, elegant and beautiful and it's metallic. I don't know if you, this is, it feels expensive. I love this kind of packaging. 
and I'm excited to try it. So let's go in. Let's go in with the mascara. I love the details and everything on this packaging. I mean, it's so beautiful. I haven't seen the wand. I haven't opened it. Ooh. It's not flexible, but it's a very nice wand. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is one coat. Oh my God. I love this. I love this. I feel like this is a little bit hard, this applicator, but oh my God, this mascara. No, 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 no. I poke myself in the eye. I did that last time when I reviewed the mascara too, on the same eye. Need to let that dry and see if it's easy to remove though. So this is one coat of the mascara and don't mind that I like smudge this over my lower lash line. Here it looks terrible, we're going to remove it soon. I'm just going to let it dry. But this looks so good and only one, one coat. Let's go in with the next coat and see if we can build it up. So far I'm like it separates my lashes and makes them longer. And very black. I love how this is building up. So far this is my favorite mascara, how it made my lashes look. Now we need to see if it's going to flake or smudge because some lashes, some mascaras do make my lashes look beautiful, but they smudge like nothing and flake. So at the end of the day, I look like a raccoon and I look like a mess. So I think we left, this is two coats and it looks beautiful. First I thought I'm going to apply uh, falsies, but I'm not going to because I love how it looks. I'm just going to try to remove this. Okay, it's removing very easy on this side. Okay, th this is good. It's removing very easy. Right now it's 16.35 and I have been having foundation for around one hour now. And it looks beautiful on my skin. It looks like my skin. It's not full coverage, but it looks very natural. It smoothed everything, made everything look nice and even. You can see my skin peeking through, which is not bad. It just makes everything look more natural and I'm loving the mascara. So far I'm loving the concealer, I'm loving the foundation, I'm loving the mascara, I'm loving the powder. So far I'm very happy with every single product that I tried in this video. Right now I'm loving it, I'm living my best life. So guys I feel pretty today, my hair is a mess but don't care about that, I need to wash it tonight. But I'm loving everything. I feel like foundation is right shade. It looks so bright when I look at myself in the monitor. But in the real life, it looks very, very nice. I'm loving everything. Everything looks so good on my skin. And I'm surprised. Now, the concealer is also medium coverage. I didn't build it up. I could definitely do so because it was very, very... It feels very light on the skin. I can't feel it on the skin. Um, everything else blended beautifully on top. So I'm going to wear it for a couple of hours, this makeup, and I'll return to tell you what I think after all day wear. So see you in a couple of hours. Hi guys, welcome back. It's 9, 10 p.m. So I've been having this makeup uh, five hours, 20 minutes, something around that, like five hours. And I didn't touch up and do anything. And this is how it looks. Actually, it looks pretty good. <laughs> the mascara looks very nice. I love the mascara. It looks so beautiful on my eyelashes. The foundation looks just like my skin. It ran off, it, it disappeared here around my lips, but I've been eating a lot and uh, I'm used to foundations 
wearing off there around my lips because I, I was eating. Uh, but everywhere else, it looks really good. I look like I have that healthy glow, but I don't look cakey. Uh, that didn't separate anywhere. Uh, I just like how this foundation looks. I'm very surprised. I really like every single product. I like the concealer. It also looks nice. It didn't set on to my fine lines. I like the powder, doesn't look cakey, also kept me a little bit less oily. I mean, I am a little bit shiny. I'm trying to touch my face with my fingers and it doesn't transfer. I mean, I still have makeup on. My nose is always a problem. If I touch my nose, the foundation will disappear. Not this foundation though. I really like it. <laughs> Even the lip band stayed. The lipstick disappeared, but lip band is still there. Um, I like this makeup. I like this. She said, don't surprise me. Like the foundation. Actually, I really, really like it. It looks so good on my skin and I have combo skin. So if you have combo skin, you're going to like this foundation. Now, like I said, I have this Syn Synchro Skin Self Refreshing cu Cushion foundation, uh, cushion, but I know they have it like a liquid foundation too. Maybe something I will buy in the future. I love, 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 love the powder and the mascara too so i like all of the products and i think i also like the concealer uh it's not full coverage but it's when i want this natural healthy glow so i'm very surprised with the makeup look and with the makeup that i bought so i like it i like it a lot yay it's dd approved um it feels good it feels good on my skin doesn't bother me it looks natural it looks nice i like it Guys, let me know down below if you tried any of these products. What do you think? Have you tried anything from Shiseido yourself? Are you interested to try anything? Thank you for watching and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.